In 1988, the U.S. was introduced to four-wheel steering in a passenger vehicle. This technology was brought to us via the 1989 Honda Prelude. A very interesting enhancement to a car's handling characteristics, the idea did not take off. From the point of introduction 37 years ago, there have only been a handful of entries in the market with this feature, if any at all until now. For 2025, there are 21 passenger vehicles for sale with four-wheel steering. This is the list. First up is the Chevy Silverado EV, which has the lowest price of entry for four-wheel steering, which starts at $57,095. Not too bad. Number two up the list is the 2025 Audi Q7. Starts at $60,500 for the premium trim. Higher trims go up to $79,185 starting but the optional four-wheel steering is $1,350. While we are still at the Audi dealership, the A7 Sportback starts at $73,295 for premium trim. Prestige starts at $83,745. Dynamic all-wheel steering is an option, which will run you $1,800 more bucks. Next up is the beloved Cybertruck. Featuring all-wheel drive, standard, as well as four-wheel steering. Starts at pretty much 80 large. If you love the good looks of the Cybertruck but don't want to cut yourself on the sharp edges, hop on over to Mercedes and grab an EQE 354-Matic. With four-wheel steering, standard starts at 77.9. Now, as we increase the price point, we move up to the 2025 GMC Sierra. EV Denali, which includes four-wheel steering standard, starts at $89,900 for the extended range model, $98,400 for the max range version. Higher trims like the AT4 offer additional off-road capabilities and start at $81,395. Now this one here is the one you see that crab walks. GM is doing all the crab walking now. So that's another feature of this car that you might want to check out and be above the crowd. Now as we get a little pricier, we come back to Audi. The 2025 Audi A8 starts at $92,000. Higher trims like the Prestige go up to $93,200. They all offer dynamic all-wheel steering as an option for $2,800. Now, as we start to move across that $100,000 barrier, we enter the big bad boy, the 2025 GMC Hummer EV, which offers four-wheel steering standard, starts at $96,550 for the SUV 2XE 4WD model. The Hummer EV pickup begins at $99,045. Higher trims like the 3X can go up to $104,000. 650 change. Yes, you get the crab walking feature if you get the Hummer EV. Now we enter the full six figure arena, the 2025 BMW 8 Series. The M850i with X Drive includes four wheel steering standard, starts at 108,475. Other trims like the M850 X Drive Grand Coupe. Range from 110.5 to 122.5. Go get you some of that. Now, if we take the 8 Series minus 3, you get the 2025 BMW 5 Series. Just striking good looks, might I add. Starting at 58,700 for the 530i and goes up to 73,400 for the 550e X Drive. The M5 sedan. The high performance variant is priced at $119.5. The integral active steering system, which provides four wheel steering, is available as an option on these cars. Now, we also just got the five wagon M5 touring for the first time in the States, and I think it's beautiful. 
that would be my choice. Now with the 5 Series looking so good, I don't know how BMW managed to get the 7 Series looking so like this. But anyway, number 11 on the list is the 2025 BMW 7. Starts at 97.3 for the 740i and goes up to 122.4 for the 760i. And the integral active steering system, which provides four wheel steering, is optional on this car. Another beautiful, badass, expensive wagon graces the list at number 12, the 2025 Audi RS6 Avant Performance, which includes four-wheel steering as standard, starts at $126,600. Depending on options and the trim, the price can go up to $147K. Now I just saw an excellent review on the Cadillac Escalade IQ. A lot smaller than the big baller Escalade, but crazy luxury inside and out. This thing does the crab walk. It comes with four wheel steering standard, starts at $127,700. Higher trims like the Luxury One are priced around $130,000. Fully loaded can get to $150,000 getting up there okay now if you're ready for a good looking full-size luxury sedan enter the 2025 mercedes-benz s-class four-wheel steering standard starts at 117,750 for the s500 formatic other models like the s580 e formatic begin at 128.2 while the s580 formatic is priced at 128.6. The nose bleed. Now we're getting a little smaller, but still getting a little more pricey. The 2025 Mercedes AMG GT base coupe with 4Matic all-wheel drive starts at 161,420. Other variants include the AMG GT55 priced at $155,410, and the AMG GT53 four-door coupe, which is that big wagon-looking version of it, starts at $112, all with all wheel steering. Now, as the cars get smaller, the price tag gets bigger. The 911 Turbo, which includes four-wheel steering as standard, starts at $197,200, and the Turbo S is priced at $230,400. Now, the Porsche 911 Carrera four-wheel steering system is, a, is probably the most minimal of them all. It, there's minor, minor, like a one degree adjustment in the opposite direction of slow speeds and even less of an adjustment at high speeds but in the same direction as the front wheels. So the car just glides over to make lane changes and whatnot. It's a really, really non-intrusive system but it somehow must be worth the money. Now we come to one of my favorite Ferraris of all time. The GTC4 Lusso, formerly the Ferrari FF, the only shooting brake ever produced by Ferrari, the first all-wheel drive Ferrari, the first Ferrari with two transmissions. This thing has also four-wheel steering and a base price of approximately $263,750 for the 2020 model. Earlier models like the 2017 FF started around $304,000. Now Lamborghini steps in the arena with their second SUV, the Lamborghini Urus, which features four wheel steering, which offers enhanced agility at low speeds and stability at high speeds. As for pricing, the Urus Performante starts at $265,971, as tested price of $338,770. The higher the price, the more arrogant the name. The Ferrari 812 Superfast, which features rear wheel steering, four wheel steering, has a price of approximately $335,000. Higher trims and options can push the price beyond $400,000. Millionaire status cars at this point. Well, as Enzo and Ferruccio continue to duke it out for the top spots, Number 20 is the Lamborghini Aventador S. 
Now this model debuted in 2017 at $424,000. They offered a convertible also, but the thing about the Aventador S was that it featured all wheel steering and standard equipment. Again, with the arrogance in the naming process, we come to the 2025 Ferrari Pro Sangue, which is another way of saying pure blood or thoroughbred the first Ferrari SUV, which features four-wheel steering, has a base price of approximately $428,686. Some sources list the starting price, starting price around $423,686, while others mention $393,000. We know it's on the high end. Given Ferrari's approach to customization, final prices can probably lead into the millions. Now as a final note and honorable mention, we left out the Lexus LC500 because the information was sketchy on it and it's conflicting reports as to whether or not it actually does have all wheel steering. But the thing starts at $101,000 and has some of the best tail lights on the planet. But that's it for now. Enjoy the next list.